Hi everyone, this is Kaur with MiniesGallery.com. In this video, I will review the seven pre-painted miniatures included in the D&D Icons of the Realms Draconian Warband, which will be released on Wednesday, February 15th. There are only five different miniatures in the set, as it includes duplicate copies of the Bozak and Boz Draconians, both of those miniatures are included in the Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen 49 miniature set, which also releases on February 15th. These two miniatures are identical to the ones in the Dragon Queen set, other than the numbering that is printed on the bottom of the base. Now at first glance, you might think that the miniatures have a pretty simple paint application. And you would be right. These miniatures have very few paint steps applied to them. However, they have made use of shading and washes to help bring out the many fine details on these miniatures. I'm glad they did this, otherwise these would have looked pretty poorly done. Overall, I am reasonably happy with these miniatures and I do really like the sculpts and poses of each miniature. While the paint applications appear fairly average, they do match all the original artworks as displayed in the Dragonlance sourcebook. While the Savak Draconian looks like it is just all painted silver, it does actually have a slightly darker steel shade painted on its armor and weapons, similar to the way it is depicted on page 199, of the official Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen sourcebook. I believe the Savak Draconian posed a few packaging challenges uh, for this set, as this blister is very large. And additionally, the area at the bottom, I think, was not needed. I get that they wanted to display the name and title of this uh, set in a predominant area, but I think it could have been better uh, put at the top to try and conserve packaging material. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.